Hello everyone, I'm Wilson Zuo, application engineer from Texas Instruments Motor Driver Business Unit. Today, I'm introducing a new reference design, tucked in refrigerator damper and the fan motor control applications. Now, let's look at the design. This is a refrigerator fan module. You may find it when you open the door of your own refrigerator. And this is a damper which controls the airflow inside your refrigerator. The reference design features DRV8048, TI's new 12 volt dual edge bridge motor driver, as the damper driver. And the DRV10983, TI's latest 3 phase sensorless BLDC motor driver, as the fan driver. Another dual edge bridge device, DRV8012, is also included as part of the power supply regulator for the BLDC fan module. All the control logic and the demo code is included in the MSP430 MCU for this reference design. A closed loop speed control of the BLDC fan is also demonstrated in this design. This reference design is realized by single layer board for the cost efficiency. And the, this annular section on the PCB is a layout example for the DRV10983, ready to be included in the fan module directly. Let's take a look at each module. First, the damper control. DRV8048 works up to 18 volt, making it ideal to drive DC and the stepper motor in white goods. In this damper application, which is a stepper motor, Full and half step control can be easily realized by PDRM input pins. OK, let's push the button to start the damper. As you see, a quiet and smooth movement here. Now push the button again. The damper can stop and hold at any angular position. Then let's look at the BLDC fan and the PDRM power modules. We use DRV10983 to achieve a super quiet 180 degree sensorless control of the BLDC fan. A closed loop speed control is implemented with the FG feedback and the DRV8012 PWM power supply regulation. Now let's look at how the BLDC fan and the speed loop control works. As a comparison, first we just drop the fan without the speed loop control. As you see, when we apply a little external load to the blade, the speed drops abruptly. This time, we use the closed loop speed control. Well, as you can see, I'm using much stronger force to the blade than last time. The speed just stays steady with little change. With the closed loop speed control, we can keep the desired speed value regardless of the motor parameters variations, power supply changes, the mechanical wearing, and the lifetimes. Is it wonderful? Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit www.ti.com slash motors to check our DRV8 and DRV10 integrated motor driver solutions. Thank you.